Yeah, I'm, I'm really happy. I, I feel like I did good and I'm happy that I was able to stay injury free. Mm -hmm. um, any highlights from this year? <laughs> uh, you know, every game was a highlight because yeah. it's. I just like going out every single game. Every game is just fun to go out there and just play. So every single game was a highlight for me, honestly. What about the one where you had 10 tackles with a brace on your wrist? I think that was USC, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that was, that was a fun game. Can you take us back to that a little bit. What was that? Pretty determined in that game? No, I mean, honestly, I just went out there like every other game and uh, play, played my game. We played our game and just had fun like every other game. You know, looking forward to this bowl game a lot of times for guys like you, it's a matter of, uh, you know, going and showcasing some of your talent, too, for the for the scouts and the next level and so forth. Is that sort of uh, sort of your mentality a little bit? Uh, no, I think my mentality hasn't changed. We just, like I said, every single game is the same. This game is no different from, from the first game of the season to the fifth to the last game of the season. Mm -hmm. Go out there and play our game. That's, that's what we're going to do. Just want, uh, what do you remember about the senior class? I mean, if you had to kind of describe you and Clay, good buddies. Your yeah. difference, but still class-wise, yeah. the same. How would you sort of sum up this? I mean, the, the winning, the the found, I guess, the foundation you guys have laid is just yeah. unbelievable. Forty-five and seven. Yeah, it was just a great experience being just play with these guys and mm -hmm. go just going day and down the off season and during the season, just working working with these guys. It's just been a great experience. How much have you been thinking about playing at the next level, especially over the last couple weeks? Um, not much. I've, all my focus has been on the Fiesta Bowl. Has anyone, you know, have you looked at any of the projections at all or anything in no. terms of where you might fall or anything like that? No. How's your hand or thumb? Or do you it's think you'll be able to play without the, the cast? The stone or the stone? I don't talk about injuries. How close are you to graduating? Because a lot of times with these bowl games, you know, guys maybe like go home if they're done and uh -huh. start training, sign with an agent. Go, you know, I'm sure you guys talked about these things. Yeah, I'm done. I'm graduating. Are you? What, yeah. what did you graduate in? My major, sociology. Um, are, is that going to be the case where maybe you go back to California like right after the game, or are you kind of getting? Uh, <laughs> I haven't. I, I, I don't. I haven't made a decision yet, so I don't know exactly what I'm doing. Like I said, all my focus is on this game. Just thought, I mean, you and, you and Michael also led that linebacker group this year. Bo's been around for a few years. But you guys leave. What do you think of some of the, some of the younger guys coming up, the, the Tysons and the Anthony Wallace's, Rodney's? How, how have they sort of stepped up and evolved, I, I guess, this year? They've really stepped up. They've, they've done a lot for this team. And, I mean, they're going to be great players. Simple as that. How have you improved as a player this year, Kiko? I, I, I asked Pelham the same thing. He said you've become much more of a student of breaking down offenses rather than going off instinct and so forth. You yeah. felt like you needed, you know, some more classroom and film time like that. Yeah. Can you concur with that or expand on it? Or Yeah, <clears throat> I think I've just been, I mean, same as always. I've been watching a lot of film, and I think just, just as time goes on, I've been able to just learn more and just get better. Mm -hmm. It's like each game I've been able to get better. I mean, that's usually how it goes. Just, that's where you want to go. You want to just keep getting better and better and building on each game. Mm -hmm. Fun to play this year uh, with your with your buddy Michael. Clearly, you did last year too. But going out as seniors, you know, getting this close to the national championship again, but going to another BCS, that must be kind of fun to do that with a good buddy like that. Oh yeah, it's a lot of fun. I've known him since I've known him since high school, and I mean, it's just been it's been awesome just being here with him because we've just known each other forever, and it's been yeah. great just playing with him and, and all, all my teammates. Known them for a long time. You know, Michael had an interesting quote in his Emerald story that came out that, that you were a high school or a Little League legend? <laughs> I don't know about that. I played baseball. I played baseball when I was younger. But that was going to be your sport, huh? I mean, that was. Yeah, I played all. <laughs> I played like I just. I was an active kid, so mm -hmm. I mean, I just played all kinds. I played all sports, and, mm -hmm. and I loved baseball. Did you read that story in the Emerald? Uh, a little bit. Did you like how it came out? I mean, I think they were the first ones to talk to you in a long time. It sounded like you didn't want to talk about your past, sort of. Did you like how that story came out? Uh, yeah, it was cool. Uh, I mean, yeah, I liked how it happened. I mean, it's not that I didn't want to talk about my past. It's yeah. just, I just, I had other things to focus on. I just wanted yeah. to focus on football. That's, yeah. that's about it. You must be pretty proud then about how you've, you've come back from some transgressions in the last two years. Yeah. Can you just speak to that a little bit, maybe coming back from those things? Um, 
Yeah, like I said in that interview, I just had mm -hmm. to put it in my past and then move forward. You feel fortunate? I mean, Chip was kind of laid down the law with, with some guys back then. Did you, to get the kind of second, third chance you did, I mean, what were those discussions like? And that you feel like it's fortunate kind of to be in this position that gave you those chances? <laughs> yeah, I feel real fortunate because, I mean, it gave me an opportunity and I knew I'd take advantage of it. That's yeah. what I did. You feel like you have? Fully sorry, it's it. kind of tight. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> When you feel like you have, obviously, had a great season, you know, getting all Pac-12 recognition, and uh -huh. um, you feel like you have sort of taken advantage of, of that opportunity? Yeah, I mean, it gave me a chance to play, so I just went out there and, and I did my best. Like, that's it. You, know I mean? you were obviously such an integral part to last year's Rose Bowl win, and now getting ready for another BCS Bowl. Do, do those memories kind of come back, especially when you have so much time in between Civil War and this game? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I don't really think about that. Like, I know, we all know it happened, but, I mean, it's a, it's a new year. Like, we got a new game, new task ahead of us. So, so hope we got to gotta worry about these guys, not about the Rose. That was last year. So what do you see in Kansas State? I mean, Colin, a lot's made of Colin Klein. Yeah. The ability to run and pass. So, a lot of different things that you guys have to worry about on the defense. Yeah. Like I said, they got a lot of skilled players. They play hey, real yeah. hard. I mean, there's a reason why they're playing in the Fiesta Bowl and they're ranked, what are they, ranked number four? Ranked number four. I mean, there's a reason why they're really good, so. Clay says whenever you go over to his house, he always want to order pay-per-view. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I like. <laughs> play vids. Yeah, yeah, I like, I like watching boxing and MMA. Is that right? Yeah, that's, so that's what he's talking about. Uh, yeah. Because I try and get other people to buy it. You, know you mean, mean the UFC? Yeah. UFC is about forty nine ninety five. Yeah, a pop, it's pretty expensive. It? So I try and get my <laughs> my friends to buy it. Yeah. You just like watching that, just because uh, you know, kind of the, that's the ultimate competition. Yeah. Right? I mean, yeah, I love watching that stuff. That's I mean, who doesn't? Yeah. I mean. All right, man.